Okay, hello everyone, welcome back again. Uh, so today we will talk again about the wireless sensor network node addressing, where we will learn in this tutorial the advanced way to address the nodes using the Arduino. Uh, in the last tutorial, I really advise you to go through the first uh, tutorial, the first part of the tutorial, where we learn uh, the basic of uh, nodes addressing, where we use a string and concatenate a string to make the address and uh, uh, how we add identifiers to the data and also how we send it out and receive it, then we analyze the data again. Okay, so this is all done in the first tutorial. I really advise you to do so if not yet. So in this tutorial, we will learn more advanced way to do the addressing. This advanced way will be for sure uh, faster, easy, and more professional than the traditional way. I mean, traditional way is the uh, string concatenate. Okay. So in this way, I will, or in this method, I will use a dictionary in the Arduino. So first of all, you need to install the dictionary uh, extensions or libraries. We go to sketch, include library, then library manager or manage libraries. Then wait for it. Okay, here we go. So this is the library manager menu. We wait to update all the lists. Then we will search for dictionary. Okay. Dictionary and hit enter. So from here, it will show us the dictionary library. Here we go. This library, the dictionary library, the first one, uh, you need to install. I already installed it. Okay, this is the one that we will use to implement this method. Okay, so please do this first, then we will continue after this. Okay, so after we install the library, now we will continue. So this code is exactly the same like the, the first part of the tutorial. Exactly the same. This is the string concatenate example. So we will use the same and we will try to modify it to change it to the dictionary and make it more uh, robust code. Okay, so uh, first of all, for sure, we need to include the, li the library we, we, we installed just now. So by using hash include. Dictionary. Okay, so this is the dictionary library that we just installed. Then uh, I will declare the dictionary in the setup. Mm, so this one, this is not one data, no problem. Let's see here. Okay, so I will declare my, let's say, D for the dictionary, or before actually, before D, uh, we declare the dictionary like this dictionary D. I need to reference it. Equal new dictionary. Uh, no need to assign any length to the dictionary. Okay, so this this is the way that we use to declare the dictionary. So here we declare dictionary. Okay. So now this is our data. Okay, we have temperature, humidity, and light. 
and also this is the destination uh, this uh, what they call destination node address uh, what is this? this is a global value this one we don't need it anymore no more strings okay so now after we declare the dictionary I will start to add or assign data to the dictionary, okay, using this way. So dictionary D of the first element in the dictionary will be holding the key of, uh, let's say, not address. And then the value of this key will be, for example, zero. Let's assume this is the master. Or, or since we say this is not one, so it will be one. Okay, so this is the way we assign to assign. Uh, data to the dictionary elements we use the dictionary name then we need to add this data so here will be key and here will be the value okay so now the key is not address um, uh, this is the value which is one so we do the same so we have let's say uh, this is the whole then not address and this is for destination address I want to send it to whom and we have light temperature and humidity Okay, uh, let's take the temperature, humidity, light. So we have temperature, let's say T, and humidity H, and light L. Okay. So now, to assign the data, we know that the node address is equal to 1. Destination, we can directly assign it. For example, I want to send it to N2. We can directly say just to non it N2 to make our dictionary very small so it will be easier, faster, and less uh, data to be sent will be better. Uh, temperature here, the temperature is 33.4. And by the way, all the element to the dictionary should be in string form. It doesn't take any other data type like integer, float, or characters. Actually, characters should be okay, but mostly it will be in string form. Later, we will see how to convert integer float to string and from string back to integers or float. Okay, so humidity 70 and temperature and light 50. So this one 70, this one 50. Okay, so we already assign the data to the dictionary. So now, this is not one data, which is from dictionary, okay? So from the dictionary, for sure, we will not use this. Let's see how. Uh, let's me take this. So this is will be number one this is from the dictionary uh, from the dictionary okay so the temperature let me let me start from the beginning let me take this uh, this one will be will not be temperature but will be D of T. Okay. 
if I want to print the temperature, so the temperature will be stored as D of T. D, dictionary name of the key. Key is uh, what is the T. So it will bring the value where this key refer to. Uh, humidity will be same, but instead of T will be H. Light will be same, but here will be L. Mm, okay, so now let, let's let's test this one. For sure, we will have some errors. I'm sure because we just delete something now. Yes, here we go. So this one, I'm just commented so far. I believe we get more here also. Uh, actually, this this function we don't need it anymore. Let me delete this function. Go. This function is from the first tutorial. Let's take it out. And I'm sure we call it somewhere here. I guess this one. Let's see. Uh, split string. This one. Let's take it. This one also. We don't need it. This one also take it out. And this one also. To here. This is also. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's clean our code. We just delete all that. We delete all our x trans keep keep the transmitting. Mm. This one for delete. Okay, so this one also delete. Yes, so our code will be only this, only this. We start from beginning better action. Okay, done. So we open and we see. Here we go. So the first thing is the data from dictionary. So we have what? We have temperature, which is 33.4, humidity, and also light. Okay. So now we see we directly assign the data to the dictionary, but how if I want to be assigned from, uh, from a variable, okay? I want to assign data from variable, which is directly, let's say from, from these variables, no need to assign directly here, okay? So we can use this method. For example, for the destination address, uh, do we have ah, destination node? So destination node, let's say equal to two, is string. Since the variable is string, I can directly take it and assign it. So for example, here, let's say two. So this is the second steps. Uh, this one. Yeah. So this is not one data from dictionary. After data updates. Okay, now we will update the data. For example, I want to update, uh, let's say, the destination address. For destination address, for example, I don't want it to be okay. I don't want it to be directly assigned. I want it to follow the variable. Okay, so I can directly do like this. Sorry, uh, take copy for the variable as long as it's string. Then I paste it here. Boom. 
Okay, so this one will follow destination node address. So for example, if I make it 20, the new one will be 20. So to test this, I will copy, copy. Uh, now, because here we don't have the node address. Let's add the node destination. Uh, so this one will be destination address equal to DA. Okay, so I will copy this. And this one actually not here. And I will paste it here. Okay, so now you see I update the node destination. I didn't declare it directly like this, but I use the variable. So whatever the variable is changing here, where is it here? It will follow the new change. Okay, let's test it out. It's uploading. Okay, done. Here we go. You see, this is the first row data. Then here I use the uh, what they call the variable assignment. Okay, so this one we can see here if the variable or if my variable is string can straightforward assign it to the to the um, dictionary element. But if my variable is integer or float, let's say if it's float like this, the 3.4. So I need to change it to string first. I need to change it to string. How to change the string? I copy this. I will say, um, let me take actually this one for temperature. Let me take all temperature, humidity, and light. I will add them here. Okay, so for here, I need to change the temperature variable into, see, if I use temperature directly, it will uh, not like it, the compiler will not like it, actually. Hmm. It's accepted. Let me try to change. Uh, temperature, float temperature, let's say 3.6. Hmm, okay. Yeah, now okay, so no need to uh, change to... No need to change to... String, let's check the humidity also. I thought it should be all uh, strings. Hmm. Hmm, you see now? Cannot accept because it comes to a character. So this one need to be string. Hmm, weird, but for the for the float, it's accepted. And for the lights, for sure, need to add light here. And also, it's a string. Okay, let's see. Yep, now it's accepted. So the temperature will be, I say, 336. Humidity, let's see, it's 100, and light intensity, let's say 500. Okay, we update again. So here we will assign it using the variable data, not a constant assignment. Here we go. Okay, so this is the new data, this is the old data. 
Okay, this is using the constant data, here we're using the variable. Okay, so now our dictionary is ready. Our dictionary is ready. So now we go to the third step. Third step, we will convert the dictionary into a string so we can send it because for sure dictionary at this state cannot be sent because you see we have like different elements each element got key and value cannot send like this we need to convert it into a json string so it's easy to be sent using any uh wired or wireless uh, medium or interface okay so here we use we reach to step three which is the uh, converting the convert the dictionary convert the dictionary to string okay so how to convert the dictionary into string by using JSON, as we said, for example, we say we define new string. This string will be, for example, S1 equal to our dictionary, which is D dot JSON. Sorry, here there's no A json okay and then we can uh, print our our string for testing see how it looks like so here we will print s1 okay let's test the start Here we go. So this is our string, or this is the dictionary after we convert to string, and this is the string that we will transmit it or send it to the next node or broadcast it through the network. So we have node address, this is the current local node address. This is number one. Destination address will be sent to node number 20. Temperature equal to 336.4 humidity and also light okay so this is the string that will be transmitted to the uh, or through the network okay so now we have transmission so uh, here transmission which is number let's say number four Number four, we have transmission. Okay, so now we transmit our data. After we transmit it, then for sure we will receive it. So number five. Transmitting a string, and here for sure we're receiving receiving the string, which is for sure it will be equal to this for now because we are we I will design the same code for the transmitter and receiver at the same place but for sure at the in the actual uh, project will be separated this code will be separated okay but since we have it on the same course so we assume this is the variable will be sent and will be received at the same time so for sure I will receive s1 
Okay. Here we go. So for sure, after I construct this string, which is based on the dictionary, we declare a uh, process here, then I will transmit. Then when we transmit it, for sure we are assuming receiving exactly the same. No corruption, no data loss. Okay. So now after we receive the, the string correctly, now we will convert back uh, let me wait here. So this is number step number six. We convert the receive string. dictionary okay so the, the received string we will convert it back into a dictionary okay so how we do so so at the receiver side we assume we have another dictionary or declare another dictionary here for the receiver so this is for D I will have another one let's say uh, let's say T okay so this is at the, at the receiver side, let's say we have new dictionary. So to, to, to load the, or convert the, 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 the string into dictionary, we just use this command, JSON again, t dot JSON load and the string uh, variable, which is S1. Okay, so now t, which is also dictionary, will be loaded from the data that we stored into the string S1. Okay? So now to display the data that's been uh, stored inside the T, this dictionary, we can use this way. We use the for loop. For integer i equal to zero. And then i should be less than t dot count, which is the length, because now we don't know how, what is the length, because of the receiver, we don't know what's the length of the dictionary because the transmitter might add more data or might take out some data so we don't know exactly what is the length of the dictionary so we just use the count will automatically detect the count and uh, assign to the loop and then we have i plus plus okay so first of all we will use a uh, serial for sure print will uh, print uh, tab first to print tab we need uh, okay let's start from that. we need uh, two quotation double quotations then we need slash t slash and we need another quotation something like this okay And then we have serial dot print T O five. Okay. Then we just copy this. So here we will print of i this one will bring the key here to display or print the dictionary key okay uh, 
uh, so here we need only actually slash then we need this and okay and here if we use the what they call the square brackets here we will display the value okay oops this one should be here this one here. okay and here just serial dot print line because we finish here we print the key first dictionary key value then we just print line okay slash okay let's press it down So this one we will bring the key and the value for the received dictionary here we go okay so this is the received dictionary we receive the node address equal to this the destination 20 temperature humidity and light nice so far very nice okay now the next step uh, after this for sure so we reach to step number seven so number seven we will analyze or process the receive dictionary that, okay so here I will analyze it to see whether this data is for me or no okay so to analyze the data, for sure, we just use a simple if condition. Uh, so for example, we can say if, if what we will see now, okay? If, how can I know this data is for me or no? Exactly, very easy. I just need to check the, where is it, here. The destination address, if the destination match my address is mean yes, this is the, this data is uh, purposely sent to me, okay? So, if, uh, this one, but remember, at the receiver side, we change to T. If T of data, or, or sorry, destination address, is equal to to what to my address which is here destination address or not destination address let's let, let's define another let's define another this uh, variable we call it also string uh, string not address Let's say this address or this node, which is the receiver side, for sure not, not the same one I'm talking about the receiver, let's say, equal to three. Again, should be uh, this string better. Otherwise, if integer will make problems. Okay, so if equal to the node address, why is it uh, equal to node address? Then what I will do if it's equal to the node address, then I will, serial.print line I'll say this data is for me mm, this one just I um, mean explanation of what is happening then I say it's received from 
not address equal to and the node address for sure will be t of node address from, from to receive from this node address now let's analyze it okay if if it's a match if this one match then we are going to analyze it if not let's say here else if it doesn't match if the destination address doesn't match my address then i will print what this data is not for me just ignore it and that's all no need to do anything okay so let's upload this code and see what is the result i guess most of you guys you can uh, expect what is the output okay good hey seven we're analyzing and this data is not for me going to ignore it why why let's see node address i assign here to three but the, my destination is what you see my destination this is 20. so if i change this to 20 to say i assume i am the node number 20 let's see what will happen when this uh, address matches with the destination which is mine then here we go this data sent for me yes it's received from node address this one shouldn't be like this i guess should be um, why not no, i get this one should be print line no this one so we don't need to print line this one after print this and print line Here we go. This data for me, I receive it from node number one, and let's analyze it. Okay, so let's analyze it. How to analyze it further? Okay, let's see what we can do. So, this step number eight. Uh, eight. We will display the individual receive data. Okay, so we will display the individual data. So since I expect the data to be uh, humidity temperature and light so i have say these variables at the receiver node okay so we have floats uh Temperature two, and also we have integer humidity two, also a humidity and light. What else? And also let's define the this the the, the, the source the address source. So it will be string. address source okay so i need to 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 declare this variable to take the data from dictionary and, as, and assign it into this variable okay so first of all for the temperature if i take the temperature if i know 
or I need to check the temperature will be stored where? Let's open this again. Okay, so temperature will be stored in T. This is the T I received. This is the T. This is the T dictionary. So T of T. T is the dictionary of key value T. Okay, so it will be like this something like this, but will be uh, with T. Okay, so here I will assign the data from the receive dictionary. Okay, so temperature two equal what? For the temperature equal to T of T. Okay, so this is the temperature. And for the humidity, equal to T of, yes, of H. And for the light, light 2, and here also uh, humidity, light 2, equal to T of L. Okay, these are the keys that we want to access. Uh, what uh, ah, the source? So we have the address source. Equal the T of uh, 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 node address. Uh, node, node address? Oh, yes, is a node address, not the destination address. Okay, so something like this. Let's see if we have any issues. Yes, here's the first issue. This one, string from string, should be okay. This is the issue. Cannot convert string to float. So, we need to convert this into float. How to convert to float? We need to add dot to float. So we will convert this into float. Here we go. And also float to integer cannot, uh, sorry, string to integer. So we need to convert to, to integer. Same goes to here. There we go. So now the compiler, I believe, should be happy and uploading our code. Here we go. But now we don't have any display because we haven't printed out yet. So since we already assign it to these variables, so we have the variables already, I can do whatever I want, I can read it out, process it, do whatever I want. Okay, so for time being, I just will say I'll print it. So, serial.print So I can say the data is received from node address equal to this, and then I will serial dot print line. I'll print line what? What do you expect, guys? Hmm. It's actually, I need to just print the source now no more related to dictionary anymore. I just have a pure variables now that I can do whatever I want. So let's copy this. This, uh, how many variables I have? I have one, two, three, four, four. Okay. So this is for the address. And then let's say I have Temperature is 
this much. Temperature will be this, temperature 2. And uh, let's say humidity is about this much, which is humidity 2. And the light intensity is light. Okay, let's check. Hopefully, the compiler is happy. Here we go, and uploading our code. Okay, good. Beautiful. Here we go. So we can see guys here at the last stage of the receiver after we check that this address is for us then we assign the data from the dictionary back to the variable so now this variable is a pure variable integer flows or whatever they are so i can do any process that my code required or my idea required okay so we can see here the, the code is very uh, organized, very professional now, no more uh, string concatenating and all these things now very straightforward and we just need to master the, the dictionary and also how to assign a read write from dictionary and also how to convert using the JSON, okay? So again, first of all, we declare the dictionary uh, library, then we declare two dictionaries, this one, for transmitter and this is for the receiver node for the transmitter node okay so this one I will arrange it okay declare the D dictionary prepare all the data then convert to string then I send it to the another row node which is the T T will be converted back the string into a dictionary. Uh, check the destination whether match with its own local node address. If it's matched, then beautiful. We just proceed with the uh, data identification. Okay, so here how we assign constant data to the dictionary by using key and the value. This is the key node address with one. This nation address, these are constant. If we say no, I have my data in a variable, then no problem. We can use this method. Okay, if strings, straightforward. If not, we need to convert to string here. Also, it looks like float, it's okay and can be accepted. However, I really suggest to use string, so we will not expect any funny values from the future. Should be all string to just follow the library standard. Okay, uh, after that, we assign all the data, whether constant or from variable, assign it to the uh, dictionary. Then after that, we convert the, we convert the dictionary into a string using the JSON method. Okay, and after that, we just transmit it. When, then when we receive it, we use back the JSON load to uh, load back the receive string into a dictionary, you convert back into the dictionary, then here we display it. After display, then we process, oh, sorry, before we process, we check the destination or any data. We put it to identify whether this string, it should belong to my node or no, or we should just need to ignore it, maybe it's sent to another node, because you know, while it's sensor network, it will broadcast the data to all the nodes especially if you're using wireless, okay? It's not directional and point to point will be broadcast to uh, uh, every node that's following on the coverage area of that node. So we are not sure who will receive it. So we just check this uh, data or this location or element of the dictionary. If it's match our node address, then we say, okay, this is for us, I'm going to proceed more which is assign the dictionary value to my 
uh, variables. If not, I just say, oh, okay, doesn't match my address, then I just go to ignore it. It's not for me. Okay, so here we go. This way I feel is very professional, very easy to use, and uh, really arrange your code. Okay, so here we go. This is the constant variable. This one we take it from the uh, variable data. This is the string we transmit it. We receive the same convert to dictionary. From dictionary, we check whether it's match our own address or not, then we analyze it. Okay, so uh, now we reach to our uh, to the end of our tutorial. I hope you have learned something new about this topic, which is wireless sensor network and addressing, uh, which I consider this is advanced addressing compared to the first tutorial we discussed last time, which is the string concatenate. So I hope you have a clear picture. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or ideas to be implemented. Uh, thanks a lot and happy learning.